For provocations, Russian soldiers are given uniforms of the Ukrainian army. The troops of the Russian Federation, which are stationed in the Bryansk and Kursk regions, are issued Ukrainian military uniforms by the occupying command. According to the Center of National Resistance of Ukraine, all these actions indicate that the Russians are preparing a provocation under a false flag to mobilize their society and also mislead the world community in order to divert attention from the crimes of the Russian armed forces. The Center of National Resistance admits that the leadership of a terrorist state may resort to terrorist acts on the territory of the Russian Federation or imitation of hostage-taking. Besides, the military armies of the Russian Federation are strengthening the counterintelligence and police regimes in the temporarily occupied part of the Zaporozhye region. The invaders restricted access to some settlements. Russian invaders have found a new way to detect members of the Ukrainian organizations in the temporarily occupied territories. According to the Center of National Resistance, employees of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation walk in public places in civilian clothes. Thus, the invaders are looking for disloyal local residents. If they are led to a provocation, then they are forced to cooperate in the future. After a year of war in Ukraine, sabotage, drone attacks and real losses of the Russian army in protracted positional battles were found to be the main sources of Russian fears.